Hey guys, it's Maya and welcome back to my channel. I post a lot of vlogs and videos on my channel, all of which I edit with Filmora. You may have seen some tutorials and videos I posted before about this editing software. They recently released their newest version and today is going to be all about Filmora 15. I'm going to show you some of the super cool new features they added that make the editing process way smoother and that I'm so excited to be using. This update also focuses on AI a lot with tons of helpful AI features too. Let's check these out! Starting off with the first new tool is AI Extend. They already had one before where you could extend your music audio clip, like if the song ended earlier than you would have liked, you could just extend it. Now you can also extend the video itself. I can't tell you the amount of times I'm editing and there's a clip that's just too short, ends too soon, and I wish it could be longer. Sometimes I kind of fix it by like slowing it down, like slow motion to make it longer. But this, actually being able to extend the clip is so much better. You just extend it and more fills in the extra frames. They added separate source and timeline previews. You see your main project in the timeline preview and you can go through your clips in the source preview. Good for keeping it separate. And now if you want just a little part of a clip in your main edit, you don't need to import the whole clip and then cut out the part you want, delete the rest. Doing all that in the main timeline, nope. Not anymore. You can choose the part you want in the source preview and then add that little part into your main timeline. It feels a lot cleaner and more distinct this way. Next one is a little more random, but something I'm actually really excited to see, and that is animated charts. If you want to show stats for anything, you can make these little animated graphs and charts right inside of Filmora, and these are fully customizable. I post a lot of videos about books, so I'm really looking forward to using this feature. I can track my reading, do different reading stats, like for example, showing how many books I read in each month of the year, or what genres I read. It's so fun. I'm so glad they added this. I'm so stoked about this one because it's going to be so useful 100%. You can now import sub projects. Basically, you can now import other projects into your main one and take and use different parts of it in your main one. For example, you made a cool intro in a different project and you want to reuse that. You can just grab that and pop it into the one you're working on right now. I will probably be using this a lot for when I do brand sponsorships because when I do those, I usually edit the sponsor portion in a complete separate project so that I can export it, send it to the brand so that you can review it and when they accept it, I add it into my main video. This will make that so much easier. You can jump between your projects, drag and drop whatever you need. If you want to grab something from another project without having to export it, this is perfection. Next, dynamic captions. I use captions a lot in my vlogs, book videos, almost every video, and these are just a lot easier to customize. You can batch edit, change animation styles, and make them match the aesthetic you're going for without having to do each line separately. Also, the AI captioning or auto subtitles are faster and more accurate now. Everything's just more organized. Filmora finally added a pen tool. You can draw your own shapes and outlines and make cool little motion paths and moving graphics. This is such a fun artsy addition that you don't even have to use any other program for. There's also AI object removal, which is basically like a cleanup tool. If there's something unwanted in your background, like a sign or a person, how dare they photobomb your scene, then you can just brush over it and let Filmora remove them. You can also use this for watermarks, subtitles, or any other distractions you'd rather remove. It's not perfect every time, but when it works, it works. The last feature I really like is dual timeline editing. You have your main timeline and you have a second one in its own tab. You can work on a complicated section in there without messing up your whole project or without making your project feel really busy and messy when you're still figuring that part out. And when you're done with that bit, just drag it into your main one. It feels a lot more organized if you're doing detailed layered edits. So yeah. That was a lot. 
a lot of very helpful features Filmora added. This update feels like they actually really focus on making your edits smoother, more efficient, giving the people what they want, and I really appreciate it as someone who edits often. I can already tell many of these features will become a part of my normal editing routine. I'm looking forward to continue using them and editing with Filmora 15. You can try Filmora with the link in my description and let me know how it goes with your own videos. I'd love to hear how it helps you with the types of videos that you do because I know a lot of us might be into very different things. Some of us, like me, film vlogs and show lifestyle videos like that. Some may be doing informational videos or about technology, different tutorials, maybe cinematic films, gaming, sports and nature, montages, so many different types of content and yet we all share the same thing. The fact that we edit and that we need us a good editing software. Hopefully Filmora can become that for you too. I hope this video was useful. Have an amazing day, keep doing what you love, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!